if my voice sounds a bit weird today, it's because I'm feeling a bit under the weather. So I apologize for that. But anyways, enjoy the video. Many of you guys have probably heard of a meme command. It's in a numerous amount of really good bots such as Danko Memer and a lot of private bots as well. And that's why I'm going to be showing you guys today how you can create one for your own server. And many other meme commands use things like async pro, pro AIO, HTTP. We're not going to be using any of that. Instead, I found a better way to do it using the use of an API that I found. So that's how we're going to be doing it. Without further ado, let's get straight. Here I am in my Visual Studio Code or whatever text editor you use. And what I'm going to start off by doing is importing a statement. So do import URL lib. So, and if this is what do you call it, if when you go to run the, your code, if it shows up as URL lib not imported, like if I run here, right, this will just run regularly. It will just say drum is online. And that's it, right? If yours returns an error, then you want to do pip install URL lib. It shouldn't though, because I think it's installed many uh, with a lot of other modules, but just in case it's not, you can do that and you can fix it. But with that out of the way, let's get on to creating the command. So you can do client dot command. Uh, add that as a decorator and then async def meme and pass in ctx. Then after we pass in ctx, we want to create a variable called meme api. So do meme, and I'm using Campbell case, so that's how it's going to have the capital A. And uh, we're going to use url lib, so url lib dot request dot url open and then pass in the meme. So this url will be down below in the description. It's https uh, me dash api dot heroku app dot com slash gimme. And over here on screen on the side, you should see how it looks like when you open it up. It just provides you raw JSON detail from a bunch of meme, I suppose, meme subreddits on Reddit, such as Dank Memes, Memes, or Me IRL. Once we have that, we're going to use meme data. Uh, equals json dot load meme api and the reason we have to use url lib is because url lib is asynchronous Requ you can also use requests but that's not an asynchronous thing so it will not function with the next code discord.py pycode or whatever you're using then we want to create a couple of i guess just variables which we will grab later on into our embed so these are all optional, but there should be at least three that you do. So I'm going to do meme URL equals meme data. And inside here, we're just going to URL. So it will go inside this link and grab whatever, whatever contains URL in it. Then we're going to have meme name, meme data, and then pass in. Instead of don't pass in name here, pass in title. And then we're going to have last of our at least important ones, which is going to be the author of it. So you just give credit or you can have the subreddit. Poster equals meme data. Poster and then instead of poster, you can have author. You can change up these variable names or whatever you like. And then I'm going to add two extra ones, which is going to be the subreddit and the link to the post. So you can skip ahead if you don't want to have that. But just meme sub so subreddit equals meme data and over here sub reddit and then do lastly meme link which is meme data and then over here should be post link like so and lastly all we're going to do is slap this into an embed so it can all function and we can post this to a channel so we can just do that by doing embed equals nextcord.embed now if you're using discord.py or pycord then you can change this to pycord and if you're just using discord.py then you can change this to discord whatever you like and we're gonna have the title be beam name 
we're not gonna have a description because it's not required and it's just gonna be the image a lot of the other thing is just gonna be the footer so do embed dot set underscore image and then we're gonna have to pass in url so url and then that should equal meme url and do embed dot set footer and that should be text equals f string that and do meme by meme poster and subreddit meme so and then the post link so post meme link and now lastly we can just wait ctx.send which this will have embed equals embed. Now I'm gonna explain all of our code once again. If you wanna like add any other further changes to it, if you don't, you can always just skip ahead to when we test the command out. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna be instantiating a variable called Beam API, which will open up a JSON file like so. This will pull the JSON file using JSON.load and then passing it the variable. Then all five of these variables will go into the JSON file and grab its own separate data. And then lastly, we're going to plug all that data into an embed and send it out to the user. So now with that out of the way, let's get into the Discord and let's test it out. So here I am in my Discord and we can just run D help to see if the bot's actually online. So here it is. Let's do help and it shows meme which is the command that we have so just do d meme and it came up with an error because of course it did okay so a low correction over here where it says post link the l should be capitalized just forgot about that but back into our discord here and if we run d meme it should actually post this time Besides for the fact that it didn't work. And once again, I messed up. It's been a long day quickly. But instead of set author here, it should be set footer. Once again, that's totally my fault. Just make sure to update that. Okay, so finally we're back in the Discord and it should work this time. Also be sure to join my Discord. I'm trying to get to 750 members. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. As you can see, people of course pinging me just because I'm recording. That's what we do here. But anyways, D meme and this time it actually posts. I'm Redder, who are you? I'm a tweeter who we can friends until YouTube uncensors dislikes. After that, it gets difficult. Yeah, actually, YouTube, I hate you for this. It's really annoying because now you guys can't see if my videos are bad, which they're not, but like just in case you thought they were, they're not. But it actually doesn't help many people looking for tutorials. So thanks a lot for that one, YouTube. And yeah, that's it. You can keep on going this and this is a really fast command because all the other uh i guess libraries take a bit more time this does it and it's really quick i don't suggest spamming it but you might overload the api i don't think that's good but here it just keeps on going and it tells you b-i-r-l b-i-r-l this was from date beams and it yeah anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video it was a really fun one to make and yeah that's gonna be it for today till next time close to go see ya